Hello, in this video we are going to show you how to implement the UI slider. This is a UI slide or this is a slider in another application it's from an Android device. So what you can do is just slide this across and you have a range of 0 to 100. So this is very common when changing the volume, whether that's for audio, I mean whether that's background music or sound effects. You can also do it for other stuff as well. Before you get onto the coding side of this tutorial, make sure you've created a project. Once you've got that all done, make sure you've actually set up your project to use the UI plugin for Cocos. If you haven't, don't worry, we got you covered. There will be a link in the description, so check that out. Once you're all done there, come back here and we're ready to start coding. So UI slider. I'm just going to call mine slider equals UI slider create. Nothing out of the ordinary there. Now slider load bar texture. So the bar texture is the background. So this won't be changing at all. This is just going to be static. It's not going to move. It's not going to do anything. So I've got it right here, which I've got it called track. Got a thumb background I mean a thumb image and this is basically what you're clicking and moving and the progress is what is displayed so this is 100% but you don't need to do uh, images for each individual percentage Cocos handles all of that for you which is great so, so I'm just gonna put track.png the next image we're gonna set is load slid ball texture normal As you could see, let's go back to it. There are a bunch of textures. You can add normal, pressed, you can add multiple textures via this method or disabled. So we're just gonna do normal. And if you were to do pressed as well, when the user clicks the button, it changes to the pressed one. But if you don't specify a press, Cocos implements a bit of animation it makes the button go a little bigger so that is cool as well so it doesn't seem very static it has a has a some dynamic effect to it so for this i'm going to put thumb.png now i'm going to load the progress bar texture so for this i'm just going to put progress.png gonna set the position so set position vec2 and here I'm gonna put visible size dot width basically I'm just going to set it to the center of the screen visible size dot height divide by 2 plus origin dot y and now we can actually add this slider to our scene so slider run this now okay here we go we got our slider right here and if I click on it I can drag it across that is really cool but at the moment we have no way or no easy way of knowing when the user has interacted with the slider and a lot of the time I'll go back to the example of changing volume when you change the volume in a game, it will dynamically change in real time. So if your finger's on the slide and you're moving it across, it'll be changing the volume as you're doing it, instead of just lifting your finger and then changing it, which is great so the user can get real-time feedback and say, okay, I think about 40% sounds good, or actually I think 80% sounds good. And to do that, we can implement a callback, which is called when the user interacts with the slider. First of all, just copy and paste this code which is used to set up the UI plugin into the header. In here, just do void slider event. You can actually call this whatever you want. And in here, you can do ref sender UI slider event type. I'm just going to call it type. Now to save some time, just copy and paste this into the CPP file. I need to put hello world. 
And now inside here, I'm going to do if type equals UI slider event type on percent percentage chain. That's the only event type there is. So when the user has touched it, basically, that's when it's called UI slider. Oh, we're going to cast this sender to a local slider object so that way we can get slider properties from it like the percentage dynamic cast in here it's going to put ui colon colon slider and the object that we want to cast now int percent equals slider get percent the percentage is in an integer so there is 101 values technically because it ranges from 0 to 100 inclusively mm, what's this moaning about forgot the equals and now finally it's going to do a log you would obviously do something else with this like actually change the volume but that's dependent on your game so I'm going to put percent and we're still moaning okay it needs to be a capital S. We're all good. If we were to run this, this would not be any different from what it was before when we last ran it. Simply because it doesn't know that it needs to attach this event or this function as an event to the slider. We have to do that manually. To do that, it's simple. You do slider, add event listener, and in here, you do cc underscore callback to hello world slider event and for the target put this and now we're ready to run this in our simulator so let's just move this up we've got our slider but when I actually click and drag it it prints out the percentage so if I were to put it to 100 it says 100 if I were to go down to 0 it says 0 but if I just click it it's still picking it up as percentage change so instead of thinking it thinking of it as an event that is called when the percentage is changed it's basically called when the user touches that item so that's it for the UI slider object. If you have any questions, feel free to post them on sonarlearning.co.uk and we will quickly respond. Please rate and subscribe as it does really help keep the content free. And as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.